everybody. It is Thursday mor morning, August 30th. I only know that because I looked at the computer. Don't get all excited or anything. And I only know it's still morning because I looked at the clock and it's 11 o'clock. So there you have it. Um, at least that's what the oven says. Hopefully the clock is correct. I have no idea. Anyway, um, holy cow. So we are a week away from the day that we actually get in the trucks and drive to Oregon. A week from yesterday, the moving company comes to load up the majority of our belongings onto their truck and make the trek up to Oregon. Uh, a week from today, the following day, we um, uh, get in our rent our rental truck and um, at least my car, um, maybe my husband's car. We're not sure how many cars we're bringing on this first trip. And we load up everything the movers don't take um, and go north. So, yeah, exciting. Um, at this moment in time, tips I can give you all if you're thinking about doing this. And if you all have done this already, a big move like this, or even a small one, and you have tips, especially when dealing with a moving company, leave them in the comments below because I think we should share with each other. Um, one of the tips from uh, after talking to a friend of mine who is currently unpacking um, a cross-country move um, from the East Coast to Texas, um, she said, you know, when the moving company was packing the electronics and things, they took the power cords off and just shoved them in a, ra a random box. So as they're... Um, uh, unpacking things or furniture parts when they took furniture pieces apart they would take the parts and put them in a random box and so as they're unpacking and she's trying to put things back together she can't completely until she finds those po parts in the random box so what I would say is as you take things apart and getting ready for the movers to move or pack to move take those cords from them put them all in one designated box so that you know where that box is and have that box in your vehicle or on your rental truck and not their truck i think that makes uh, more sense and is going to be easier on the back end um, so we're taking the sound system and entertainment system apart they're going to pack the components but we're going to have all the cables and um, everything's insured i would recommend if you have any items of value um, that you aren't taking with you that they're taking uh, make sure you get the ex extra insurance and that way if things get broken um, or go um, get damaged or whatever um, they uh, replace or repair so if you have anything you're really worried about get it going lost or, or getting broken just don't even put it on the truck put it in your car um, don't do the uh, do the obvious don't put your jewelry uh, personal information, paperwork, ID, that, um, v extreme valuables. Don't put those on the moving truck. Take them with you. Put them in your vehicle. Um, we're not even letting them take the computers. They're going in our vehicle. Um, but yeah, so we're just running around the house kind of trying to find all the random you know, liquids. They don't take liquids. So we're putting all the liquids aside to put on our car. And um, yeah. It's interesting. I <laughs> can't find anything right now. It's either packed or in a pile where I, it's not normally and I can't find it. So <sighs> anyway, that's the state of things at the moment. Everything's bare. Everything's in boxes <sighs> or prepped to go in a box. So yeah, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Okay, this is for the moving diaries. We're in the last couple of days before the movers come up um, to pack our house. Uh, it's September 2nd. They come and pack the house on the 4th. They come back on the 5th and load it onto a truck and take it away. Uh, in the meantime, we have some things we're putting on a 16-foot U-Haul and or in my car or in my husband's car. And then we're driving the three vehicles up. I am completely stressed out, not sleeping. I barely slept last night. Besides having the nightmares about not passing my driver's test when I get up there and being not being able to drive my car. I think I've already mentioned that one, either here or in the vlog. Um, last night I had a new nightmare. <laughs> uh, that we got up there and we got moved in and we hated it. I don't, that's, you know, they're just... 
they're not reasonable um, realities. They're just a product of my stress and lack of sleep. My bags under my eyes are huge. I have a couple breakouts. They're all, it's all from stress. You know, at 55 years old, you'd think I'd be done with the breakouts on my face, but no. Um, anyway, my husband is off to a family function in Southern California and he'll be gone just overnight. But while he's gone, I'm gonna do some staging at the house to get ready for the movers. I'm gonna clean out the fridge. I've already warned him when he comes home, it's gonna be like empty except for like bottled water and the one pack of bacon that we wanna cook up, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, first we're gonna head over to Walmart. I need to pick up a couple things that I think we might need for the road trip up. And then I really, really, really need to go home and have another cup of coffee. Yeah, I need to get back into a healthy routine after we get into the house because I am just so off of my game right now. It's just not even funny. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. So here is some more moving diaries. It is loaded up day. So I don't know if you see that man in the far distance in the blue shirt. That is Fred, uh, AKA my husband. His name's not really Fred. Those of you who don't know, it's a joke, but anyway. Um, we are at the truck rental place. There is some stuff that is not going on the moving truck with the moving company that's coming with us but there's enough of it that is big that we need a rental truck besides our vehicles. I have a Subaru Outback and my husband has a sports car and we can get some stuff in those two vehicles, but we're renting a truck for the bulky stuff. So we are here waiting for the truck rental place to open. And I can't wait for this part to be done because the chaos of just the physical act of packing up your house and having everything in boxes and the chaos when you have anxiety disorder is just no fun. No fun at all. But the unpacking when we get there is going to be a lot of fun and setting up a new house. Um, the house was left dirty and um, they even left old food in the fridge. But I have a cleaning crew up there taking care of that right now. And I have to say it's made me not want to be that person when we sell our San Jose house. And I'm going to make sure our house is left clean. I don't understand why you would sell a property and leave it disgustingly dirty, but anyway, we'll get it worked out. I'll be back. Can you hear that? We're at the new house and it we've been here since Thursday night. It is Sunday morning, September 9th, and <clears throat> we have a contract, one contractor on the roof, trimming trees, cleaning gutters, cleaning the roof, and then he's putting a solution up there so you don't get moss growing up there. And at the same time, we have another contractor who's painting the red wall that was in the house and covering that up. It is now green. It's a very pretty shade of green. It is but much better than the fuchsia red. Those windows have got to have, that's going to be next on our project list. We've got to put window treatments on those. They're beautiful windows, but heck, it's heck of bright at night in the afternoon. And we've got both computers unpacked so we can work. Here's Fred's office. We don't have our furniture yet. It comes Tuesday. Oh. But. I got everything hooked up. We got it hooked up. We got touch-up paint done. Oh, I missed a spot. Uh, well, that's okay. I'll put something there. <laughs> We're going to hang a painting there. Um, we got the touch-up paint mostly done. Um, 
so yeah, so we're getting there. Now we're just kind of, we have a couple days where we can just breathe and maybe get some groceries and have a few other things done. And then the moving truck comes and then yes. the rest, then the madness begins all over again. Yep, and we have to unpack all that. Yeah. I think we might have an unpacking party and see if we can con any friends and family that we have in the area to come help us over the weekend. So anyway, that's it for the moment. We'll be back. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Moving Diaries. I really just felt the need to document our journey through selling our house we've had for more than 20 years and finding our new place, our dream house, and getting that whole process done. And all of the stressful and happy and exciting things that happen in between. So um, the unexpected to the expected. Um, it's not an easy process. Those of you who have moved, some of you way more than me know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't move easily. This is only going to be my third time as an adult that I've moved. And this is a pretty major one. I've never as an adult lived outside of the state of California. So yeah, it's going to be fun. We do love the Portland area though. It's a little bit colder and damper than down here uh, in California, but we do love the atmosphere up there. Um, and so, yeah, <laughs> um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the, um, comments below on the, this video. Um, if you go to the video description, any relevant links are going to be there. And if I forget, somebody remind me in the comments. Um, you'll also find my link tree link, which will give you a list of every single place you can find me on the internet, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook groups, everything, Etsy shop, all of it. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Moving Diaries. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like notifications of when the next video uh, comes out, hit that little bell icon. And uh, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.